Let's kick things off with the ongoing crisis in Texas, where half a million residents were still without power today. And more than 200,000 were without clean water because treatment plants are failing and pipes are bursting. Texans have been lining up for clean water from public spigots, boiling their own, or even trying to melt snow. Yeah, melting snow for clean water. I mean, you know that the infrastructure is screwed when your best option for water is to mug a snowman. But the saddest part is that these people are the lucky ones because it turns out one poor Texan had to travel 800 miles just to get heat, water, and electricity. Senator Ted Cruz, he is now facing a whole lot of questions after he was spotted on a plane traveling to Cancun, Mexico, in the midst of this unfolding crisis in his home state of Texas. If you go on social media, you will see social media users posting multiple pictures of the senator and his family in the Houston airport waiting to board their flight. Ted Cruz! No, man, you gotta be shitting me, dude. Your people are literally eating snow right now and you're jetting off to Cancun? I'm not even mad that you were selfish. I'm mad that you were so stupid. How can you be in politics for 10 years and still have no idea how bad this would make you look? What were you thinking? I know my people are freezing and hungry right now. So what they need is a photo of my beach bod. Because if they see me in a Speedo, their eyes will burst into flames and the whole family can warm their hands over those flames. I mean, look, I get that Ted Cruz is tired. You know, the man deserves a break after trying so hard to overthrow the government. But this is not the time, Ted! When your constituents said they need clean water, they didn't mean go find a wet t-shirt contest in Cancun! I mean, seeing Ted Cruz skip town for the beach has been very frustrating for the people in Texas. But on the other hand, it has been really exciting for all the people in Cancun who got to meet him on the street. Wow, bro, I didn't know that Senior Frog was a real guy. That was awesome. And what's even worse is that when he got caught, instead of owning up to it and apologizing, he acted like a total Ted Cruz. Breaking right now, an update on the reports that Texas Senator Ted Cruz took a trip to Cancun as the state was dealing with massive power outages, something that had many of you upset online. The statement from Cruz saying in part, with school canceled for the week, our girls asked to take a trip with friends wanting to be a good dad. I flew down with them last night and I'm flying back this afternoon. Oh, I see. We all got this thing wrong. Ted Cruz wasn't going on vacation, people. He was just chaperoning his girls on the flight to Cancun. So in, so in some way, this was like a, a reverse taken. I want you to know that I'm a man with absolutely no skills whatsoever. And I'm gonna safely accompany my daughters on this trip. Seriously, Ted Cruz blaming his daughters for this is just gross. Being a good father means putting them on a bus, not throwing them under one. Although to be fair, maybe Ted Cruz just doesn't know what a good dad is. I mean, his dad killed JFK. Whew. But let's move on now to the place people wish they could send Ted Cruz, Mars. It's the next frontier in space and home to a legendary pop star named Bruno. Well, now scientists are about to find out if anyone else has lived there. This morning, one giant leap toward finding out if there was life on Mars. The Mars rover Perseverance successfully touched down on the red planet. The successful landing will kick off NASA's most ambitious mission yet. The rover, after traveling 300 million miles in seven months, will touch down on an ancient lake called Yezero, a site where ancient life may have been best preserved. The most dangerous part of the mission begins when the rover enters Mars's atmosphere, a period known as the seven minutes of terror. Yes, the seven minutes of terror. And I'd be terrified too if I spent three billion dollars on a Roomba. Please work, please work, please work. Best Buy won't take this back, please. But luckily, it landed safely, and now we're all getting a look at Mars, which we need, because things aren't going so great here on Earth. I mean, you know shit's bad in your neighborhood when you start looking at the Zillow listings for other planets. Although if you ask me, you don't need to be digging in the dirt and analyzing soil samples to find signs of life on Mars. If you wanna know if anyone lives there, just go up there and shout, cancel culture isn't real. Someone will pop out from behind a rock like, tell that to Chris Harrison. 